Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have something a little extra special and I'm wearing my headband just in honor of this video. <clears throat> so I got a package in the mail. Looked like this. But it's not an Ipsy. It is Crate Finds. So since I am an ambassador for Crate Finds, they are launching their own makeup line. Some of these items will be in the mailers in the future. Some items might be in the mailer number three or four. I don't know. But they're coming out with their own makeup line. So what they did was they picked ambassadors who have very different skin tones. Thank God for being the most pale person in every room. And uh, they sent us makeup to test out to see how it worked and to see how it looked on our complexions. So what I received is an eyeshadow single, a liquid lip, just a little baby, a lipstick, and an eyeliner, all of which I'm wearing right now and all of which I have on my hand. So these are um, cruelty free. They are vegan. They are amazing. Um, in mailer three, everything you get is going to be cruelty free and it will be Crate Finds a branded, but starting in mailer four, everything's also going to be vegan as well, which is incredible. They're stepping it up. They're getting everything taken care of. And y'all are about to see how these products perform. Um, I mean, I'm like I always say, I'm so honored that they even want to work with me. Um, I really love helping them build, giving my feedback, and I love getting to show you guys a brand new brand that, I mean, they have started their mailer, but this makeup is unreleased. It's not really out there for everybody yet, and I'm just so excited to show it to y'all. I will link Crate Finds down there. Try to put their socials down there too. And just a heads up, if you want to do a little shopping, I know Christmas is already over, but if you got some stuff coming up, maybe Valentine's Day, you know. They just also released a whole lot of new stuff, including joggers, bath bombs, like, they are spreading out like crazy, and I'm absolutely here for it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this. I'm showing you two looks today, what I have on right now is my more glam New Year's Eve look and then I'm going to show you like a chill laid back home with your friends and your parents New Year's Eve look that's just really cute. So I'm going to show you two looks. I'm going to include all four Crate Finds items in there and uh, I hope y'all enjoy. So let's go. Okay so before um, I do anything else I've already got my face on. And of course, the first thing I want to do is test out this single eyeshadow I was sent. Since these are unreleased, they don't have names yet. This says number four. And it is a really pretty, like, maroon color. And I'll show you a swatch. It's absolutely gorgeous, but since it is only one shade, I'm going to go ahead and just use some, uh, we're going to go with random shadows and just stick them in there for transition. So I'm just going to take a really light tan color and just lay it down everywhere to give me something to work with. And that's all I'm going to do before I put this shadow on. So since we are doing two looks, first I'm going to show you a more matte look that can be used, you know, if you're going to see the family, you don't want to go too crazy, or if you're just not a big fan of glitter. I'm going to show you that one. 
So to blend in this maroon, I'm going to use an M441 from Morphe. That is my all-time favorite brush. And I'm just going to dip in. And you can see the pigment picks up really nicely. So we're just going to put this all through the crease. And when I say this is going to be a simple look, I mean this is going to be the easiest look in the world. I know y'all don't have access to this shadow, obviously. But maybe you could do it with a different crease color or a similar colored shadow. Or... If you like this shade as much as I do, whenever it releases, you can pick it up. Because I'm going to tell you right now, this is my first time putting this on my eyes. All I've done before is swatch it. This is blending very easily. It is absolutely gorgeous. And this is just so easy to work with. Now the plans on how these shadows will release are not for sure. There may be palettes, there may be singles, who knows. But there will for sure be singles, that's a definite, you gotta have singles. And uh, yeah, they will be all kinds of colors. The company is working right now to decide just what to come out with in the first collection. And these are just, oh, it's like a dream. And this color is just, again, like, so pretty. I almost feel like... I'm working with Modern Renaissance, even though I know there's not quite a color in Modern Renaissance that touches this, but that's kind of how I feel. So all I'm going to do for my eyes for this matte look is just pick up some matte white shadow. I'm taking it out of a Kat Von D quad and just put that on my lid. Y'all tell me why I just closed the wrong eye. Okay. So literally, that's it for the eyes on my matte look. Let me turn this down. You can see there, very simple, very easy. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take, they also sent me an eyeliner. We're just going to do a quick swatch of that. It is very black. It is a felt tip. And I have played with this. I did put it on just to see how it worked. And it applied really well. So for this matte look, we are just going to line right on the lid. Just like that. Just enough that say, maybe you're a fake lashes kind of person, which I am sometimes. It's just enough to hide your lash band. Without being too much if that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> so now, it's time to show you the lippy that I would personally pick with this matte look. And this is just a small size, but this is a liquid lip. <clears throat> the applicator in here is pretty generic smells literally 
like strawberries and that sounds crazy but it smells like strawberries y'all it's so nice okay so I'm just gonna apply this Okay, so <clears throat> hold me to this. I'm not going to speed that up because this literally just applied like a dream. That is one coat of this lippy. And y'all, no matter how much I turn this brightness down, it's still. Can you see that? That's with the light off. This lippy is absolutely gorgeous so this is basically what i would do for a matte look i would just take the shadow the matte white the kind of more nude lips of course you can add mascara or lashes whatever you want but for the purposes of this video i'm going to go ahead and take off this lippy before it dries down because this stuff is hard to get off once it dries down and show you the bright look so one minute okay guys so <clears throat> now I'm going to show you what I would do for like a night out kind of thing I'm not going to apply lashes because I am about to be on my way to work eyelashes at work are not fun but what I would do is take a come on take a shiny white to replace that matte white and maybe even if you're feeling real good maybe some glitter I'm actually gonna take a shiny like light pink because I think it'll show up a little bit better but if you're feeling real brave maybe even toss on some glitter glue if you have some steel and magnificent metals put that on just to spice it up even more I have got to get some of those magnificent metals too I wish Craig Fines could come out with a, a version of that type of thing that would be the bomb but uh, you just pop this on here <clears throat> and then act like y'all don't know where I'm going with this take the shadow again Take it on your flatter brush, which in my case is my M443, and just put a little bit of that on that lower lash line and smoke that thing out. This makes you like 10 times more dramatic in two seconds. And then we're going to be brave. I would add a wing. Now how big this wing is, is up to you. Quite personally. I have hooded eyes and I suck at wings. So, mine would not be too big just in an effort of not destroying my whole makeup look so a little something like that and even if you are horrible at wings this applied really easy like I know y'all have watched me melt down a mess I got my wing at least like three times probably and if I didn't put it in the video I probably tried one edited it out took it off and went without it because I can't do wings but though this is not as sharp as some people's because well because I kind of suck this is a solid wing and this was really easy for me to do and now I'm gonna be quiet so I can attempt 
to match it over here. Okay, so we got a little bit of a wing going. Not perfect, but that was way easier than almost every other time I have attempted to do a wing. So I'm just going to toss on some mascara in lieu of lashes. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, now we are going to show the last lip. No, this is a regular lipstick. This is what the packaging looks like, although the packaging is subject to change. And I have already used it, so that's why it looks used. But I've got a gorgeous red to try out. I'm going to go ahead and put a swatch of that on my hand. So these are all the things that I got to try out. I got a red lipstick, a kind of nude-ish liquid lip eyeliner, and the eyeshadow we used. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this, and uh, this is what I would use for my night out look. Okay, so I'm not going to slow that down either. I don't know, I'll, or speed it up. Um, I, I don't know, this is getting long. But uh, this red is absolutely gorgeous. It is regular lipstick, so yeah, it transfers. Probably have to reapply it. I don't know, I haven't worn it throughout the day. I think some of these lipsticks do, like, they kind of stain, so you don't really need to reapply it that often. This is a lipstick. It is gorgeous. Just to reiterate, these uh, samples that I'm trying out, these products, everything with Crate Find starting on Mailer 4 is going to be vegan and cruelty free. And in Mailer 3, everything is cruelty free. It's not vegan yet, but it will be by Mailer 4. Now, these products are wonderful for a company that is brand new, that is establishing themselves. Like, this is amazing, you guys. Like, these products are on tier with just about all my high-end products. I mean, the lipstick goes on super easy. The liquid lip is gorgeous, super creamy. I have worn it for a while just to see that it's really transfer-proof. Like, it doesn't go anywhere. The eyeliner, when I put it on before, like, I had to scrub it off. I left it on for, like, 10 minutes and went to take it off after I tested it the first time. And I went like this and nothing moves like it's it's there the only thing I just moved is my eyeshadow like this stuff is amazing I mean I can even like I'll show you on my hand look scrub it doesn't go anywhere like these products just blow me away. Cravons has done it again. I'm so excited to share this with y'all. I this is the first time I've gotten makeup that's not released to try out. So I love being a guinea pig. I had the most fun and I cannot wait to see what else Cravons comes up with. I hope y'all guys have an incredible day. I hope you have a good New Year's Eve. If you recreate this look, let me know. And if you have any suggestions, for you know future looks future reviews leave that in the comments and i will get y'all taken care of bye you guys